and Rich Charon was released for Blender to make the entire post-production workflow completely visual and easy to use. With their powerful filters, Enrich Aron allows you to add any sort of effect to your render. But why only render? When I had first launched the Enrich Aron, just after a few days, I got many requests by the users that they wanted to edit external images and videos. And this is what made me create the next update of the Enrich Aron. The 1.1 update brings a new set of scene options that allows you to use an external image or image sequence or any of your render layers with the Enrich add-on. Thus, you get the same experimental and visual workflow for all your images. This makes the add-on really versatile and universal with nearly all the options available to use with your external image. 1.1 update is not just that. It also comes with a slick new interface which provides you with all options but never gets in your way. The settings are cleaner and closer to the real world values. The smart enrich panel provides you those options first that you need the most. You would also notice the new thumbnails for the presets which make the presets more understandable. But why would you use an another image as the thumbnails? Th that is why this update brings the option to use your render as thumbnails for the presets. So you could quickly have a glance through all the presets and how it would look like on your render. The preset management system is also improved. You can now favorite, categorize and search through the entire presets list and find the effect that you are looking for. The update includes 5 new presets that come with the default presets pack. There is one more major feature that comes with this update and that is enrich values. This new preset system allows you to save all the enriched settings that can be used later for any scene. This means that if you have a set of settings that you try with every render, you can now save it and use it anytime in any scene. There are much more minor features with the add-on like resetting the enriched panel to the default values, better installation of custom presets, faster preset load and much more. If you have previously purchased the Enrich add-on, you will get this update for free. The update comes with a version fix which would allow it to work with the previous scenes as well. So I hope you like the new update of the Enrich add-on and if you haven't purchased the add-on yet, you can buy it from my site or from the Blender market. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment below.